Hey Amanda, happy Wednesday. I'm currently eating the chocolate that you guys sent to me for Valentine's Day. Even though right on the envelope it said do not open till February 14th. It's February 12th. What can I say? Mm, that is um, not like, oh, mm. Anyway. That was intense. Anyway, hi, happy Wednesday. Um, I really liked your video talking about pessimists versus optimists. I remember I used to identify as a realist until my AP Lang teacher, Mr. Pewterbaugh, was like, realists are just pessimists with a superiority complex, and I stopped identifying as that. I don't know what I am anymore. I feel like it's one of those characteristics that for some reason everyone feels like they need an answer to it, that everyone has to be an optimist or a pes pessimist or somewhere on. Yeah, but I don't really... Uh, I don't really subscribe to the idea. Although, it did make me think about um, extroverts and introverts. I was thinking about this because we recently moved over to a new professor in my fiction sequence. And if you don't know, I'm normally on the quarter system, which means I change classes three times a year. Um, and I'm in cor currently in winter quarter, but for some reason my fiction class is set up semesters, aka two classes a year. And we switched halfway through the year. So instead of switching over to a new professor back when I got back from winter break, we just got a new professor Monday. So in a get to know you esque thing, she passed out note cards and had us like write down answers to various questions so she could have them on file and look back and to see who we were. And a couple of the questions were um, the three people in the classes who you're closest to and the three people in the classes who you, uh, in the class who you know least. I assume for group making purposes, so, so to clarify, this is like a small class. There are 15 of us tops. We are working together all year. We've been in the same class together since September. Um, and I'm going to be all the way through June working on our writing. We've read each other's writing. We talk a lot. It's a very discussion-based class. So as some background, fiction is my favorite class. I normally freak out having to talk in class, but this is one that I actually feel comfortable you know, participating in a, like, a sustained dialogue throughout the quarter instead of, like, you know, having something that I want to say and, like, waiting 20 minutes to say it and then finally saying it and then, like, having, like, anxiety about it for five minutes until I know that people are no longer thinking about what I was saying and then, like, falling silent for the rest of the class. This one, I can talk when I want to talk. I don't really feel the need to, you know, premeditate what I say. Um, it's really great. And because of that, I guess I've, 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 I've considered myself close to my class, even though I'm not friends with any of them outside of of this class. I just like felt like we had like a, you know, good thing going. But then I go, my the three people in this class who I'm closest to, I have no idea. The three people in the class who I know least, probably everyone. And so everyone passes in their note cards and I glance to the note cards on my left and right of the people I'm sitting by and I, I see that I'm listed on both their cards as a person who they feel like they know least. And then I started thinking, oh my god, what if everyone in this class listed me as someone that they know least? What if the fact, what if even despite the fact that I feel like I am part of this class and like feel a really like bond with all these people, they're all like, oh yeah, Anna, she, you know, she doesn't talk that much. She's very quiet. Who is Anna? I don't know her. And I was just like, damn. And I looked around and I saw people were able to list the people that they, that they felt closest to with no problem. And I was like, wow, people have been forging connections in this class. And I have just been enjoying it from the sidelines, feeling a sense of closeness to them, if only because they don't cause me a great amount of anxiety. But the, the fact is I, I haven't actually forged any connections with any of them. And I, I think that's a problem I deal with a lot. That like, I feel like I'm part of student groups. I'm part of my sorority. I'm part of my sexual health and assault peer educators. Um, I make, I, you know, I'm part of various classes. And I, I, I feel like no matter what I do, I'm always floating around on the outside. I was talking to someone about how I feel like I present as extroverted. Like, I feel like if you looked at me and, like, heard the way that I communicate, you wouldn't necessarily think that I was shy or, or an introvert. But the fact that I have introverted tendencies in that I am not comfortable with approaching people first and I'm really bad at starting up first conversations, those two things together probably make me look like a bitch. And I don't know how else to say it. Like, I, I, I probably come off as a bitch to other people if only because I have really bad social anxiety but for some reason I just like am loud. I guess to connect it back to what you were saying um about this like weird binary um between you know optimists and pessimists I feel kind of the same way about introverts and extroverts and that it's hard to really just pick one I feel like it's really hard to identify with for example being introverted 
but then still feel the like the need to be like around people a lot and like feeling sadness if you're not you know making connections and you know meeting new people and so it's weird because I feel like my desires and my temperament are like completely at odds with each other like not even Venn diagram overlapping um which is which is the huh the cause for a lot of my stress I suppose so that's been my video today. That's just what I was thinking about because that dumb no card exercise and finding out that no one in my class actually knows who I am. Anyway, that's my video. Hopefully my next video will be a little better quality. I sucked it up and ordered a tripod off of Amazon and tried really hard to get it to work, but um, since it's like five o'clock right now, it's kind of like sunset season and the lighting was really bad and I just like wasn't feeling how I how I looked on camera and couldn't find the right angle, so I just decided to sit on my on my laptop when I could like stare at myself as I'm recording a video for you. Um, but anyway, I'll see you tomorrow slash Friday. Hope everything is good with you. Don't stress about being a pessimist or an optimist. La-di-da-di-da-di-da. La-di-da-di-da-di-da. Also, you're a fucking dork.